everyone. I'm going to do um, a garden tour. Please don't excuse the, the state I look in. Um, I've got practically no makeup on. I've just got a bit of blush and some lipstick. And I've got terrible bags under my eyes because I didn't sleep very well last night. So I'm just going to turn you around. Right. Please excuse this mess down here. Um, it's ready to go to the tip. Um, and round where we live here, um, we have to have a trailer permit. Um, I need to get one of those. All right, this plant here is a castor oil plant. Um, it's just ornamental. Um, you know, there's no no use to it. Um, <clears throat> in the spring and summertime, it um, has these little tiny, tiny little um, white flowers with a little yellow centre. Um, in the bottom, these are just um, stray seeds that have grown because I had I have some planters sitting down the bottom here during the summer with um, like wildflowers and that sort of thing. Um, I've got three hyacinth, hyacinth bulbs growing here and they have actually got flowers in this year whereas um, Last year they just grew with the leaf and didn't know any flowers in. So we'll come out from that. Really not looking at the garden in the best time of the year. Um, there is a lot of work that needs doing. All this here, uh, that's my twisted willow. All this here, um, they're just um, a wildflower mix. They need um, cutting down and they'll just reflower again. These um, troughs here need emptying out. Oh, there's only two there. There should be three. Don't know where the other one is at the moment. Um, but they need all emptying out and resetting because that's a wildflower mixture. This little watering can here, um, it was just a grey, boring old watering can. But my husband painted it green because he was fed up one day and had nothing to do. This is years and years ago. I just painted some decorations on it. <coughs> Excuse me. This is just another little plant. It has, when it le comes into leaf, it has little tiny leaves on it. Um, it is supposed to flower. Oh, it's called that, but most of it's um, worn away. It is supposed to flower, but I did only get it last year. Um, and I don't think it's ready to flower yet. Oh, pardon me. Up here, this is a pile of slabs that we've take, taken out of the front garden, which I um, need to get rid of. I've got a lot of work to do this year. These are some pots that need repotting up um, come spring, summer time. Oh, dog toy. Oh, a very wet, slimy, yucky dog's toy. That could stay there. This is a part of the garden that is very, very wet, um, even in the summer. So we've just got ferns growing here and the occasional wildflower bit grows. Um, these all need trimming back again uh, come spring. Um, oh, there's my other trough. <coughs> it's very, very untidy. Um, we had to quickly lay some slabs down here because the dog was getting absolutely filthy. It's so wet in this garden at the moment. And up there, we have a bird feeder. Down here is a little area with some... Um, these are... I don't quite know what this is. It doesn't flower, it just um, has green. That's another... Flowering. I think that's called a mock orange, um, but that needs taking out. I think I might have to dump that because there's so much moss growing around it that it's absolutely got got somebody spying on me. Um, it's got so much moss and I think it's absolutely dark, killing it off. This fir tree, Steve grew from a seed. Um, it's getting quite big now. Um, he did have quite a few of them. Um, this is the only one that actually survived. And we just got stones down there. And the patio table. 
over here is this Steve's shed. The other one, the other one is, the other one further along, that one is mine. It has all my gardening bits and bobs in and the lawnmower. Not that I use the lawnmower, that's the other jobs. This is part of my, well, my herb garden, which is looking extremely sad at the moment. Again, we've had just had too much rain. Um, it's just spoiling everything. Um, and the moss is getting in and, you know, it's just bad. Um, this is not a herb. This one here isn't a herb. And that one's not a herb. This one, if I can get it to grow, it came off a cutting out of next door's garden, uh, which was hanging over my driveway. Um, has the most beautiful flowers on. Uh -huh. That's if I can get it to flower. That, this one here is bay leaf. This one here, oh, better go around the other side, is um, flowering jasmine. It smells absolutely lovely. This, can't remember its name, but it has big red flower bits come on the ends. I'll have to show you in the summer. Excuse the mud patch, that is the dog's running patch. As you can see, it is such a mess. See how wet it is. Around here, this is, oh, I can't remember. It's just a green bush. <laughs> um, this tree up here, if I can back up a little bit. That's my husband's rowan tree. We didn't expect it was going to grow as tall as that, <laughs> but it is huge. This in the pot below it is broom, a yellow one. <coughs> and then there's various just, most of my garden now is, is planted to um, bushes around the, gar around the outside garden. This is called a dogwood. You can't see very much of it at the moment. It needs chopping down and it's... Uh, there's a lot of work, I say, like I've said, there's a lot of work that he's doing. But he's just getting out here and doing it. I can't remember what to call this. And I can't remember what to call the other one is either. See, I'm a terrible gardener, I can never remember the names. This is coming out into bud. If you can see it, where is it? There. <laughs> I've got to get used to this camera. Um, as the, the lovely yellow flowers. No scent. This is my holly tree, which has berries on in the summer. Strange. Around here, this is another green plant that has um, white flowers on again. That's a patch of what they're called snowdrops. This is a rubbish corner, which needs, I need my permit for the trailer. This all needs to go away. It's just sort of got dumped in the corner. Um, and there's various other, what are you doing dog? Various other things there. There's another, another pot of, um, just here, um, of snowdrops. This is get down here this is a climbing rose which is starting to shoot already these are more pots that need clearing out and sorting for the summer again this is birch tree which i'm right in the sun if i move around out of the sun you might be able to there you go see it better all the leaves are dying off now but we have got um, new growth. This is a, another mock orange, I think, but it's a, a different um, type. But the, flower, the buds are coming up for the flowers. It needs pulling up, um, but it needs a post behind. This is old fence panels. Because um, you'll see when we get further up the other end of the garden that I fence um, had a bit of a lot, of, well, a lot of damage done to it um, in in the winds that we had over the winter. Um, 
and down here there is down here if I move this got me wellies on you see my wellies there are slabs down there to walk on because we have a gate that goes out into the backwoods and that's my compost bin I try to be good at composting um, down here we've had the most terrible attack of moles absolutely dreadful um, I'll zoom you in there there look I don't know what size this mole is I mean he must have you know he must be enormous because he's been all over the garden and these little slab slabs here you couldn't see them at one time there's three of them dotted down the garden so we can get to the bird table up there um, but they see the molehills have been flattened out here a little bit so we can get round to where we needed to go so all that has got to be sorted out this spring um, all this grass needs to be reseeded um, I mean, look, I mean, everywhere, absolutely loads of them. Came out one day and I counted 27, the flipping things. Um, you know, they're just all over. This is a bench where I sit in the summer. I sit down here quite a bit. Um, that's another little plant that we have in the garden. And the garden's not very interesting at the moment. Um... This here um, is old in the fence up at the moment um, because obviously it, it's just too wet to do anything. This is an apple tree that my son grow, grew when he was about, I think he was about four or five and he's now 16, in, he'll be 16 in May, I nearly forgot there. Um, last year we did have one apple on it, we did have four flowers but the other flowers fell off and we had one apple. Um, but it got to about that size and we decided to give it a try. It's the most sour apple you've ever tried in all your life. But it wasn't eating apple when, we, when what you took the seed from was an eating apple. Um, this bush here is the same as the one down the bottom of the garden. Um, these leaves, they go a lovely red colour um, and they have it has berries on it there's only a few left because the birds love these they dive in and out of it and it's so funny to watch down here we've got just various um, sorry I'm just passing my coat up various um, plants, bushes rather that's, they all flower at different times of the year um, as you can see, they are starting to um, get buds on now, the, f the green, the leaf buds. Um, this one is called a flowering, flowering currant, I think they call it. Um, and as you can see, it has got flowers on it already coming out. So spring is here. Um, and this is just another another bush. This has little red flowers on with yellow centres. Um, these are, I think they're foxgloves. And I know they're poisonous, but my dog doesn't bother with them. And he's very good. Um, this, this used to grow right up here, right up to the top of the fence and over the top. Um, but it was in a pot and the roots had grown through the pot um, and the pot broke so all the roots were exposed so we had to um, take the pot away and just chop the main root off the bottom um, we didn't know if it was going to survive or not but you can see this great big root that's growing that was around the top of the pot um, so we had to chop the main root off we dug a hole obviously planted it and it, um, it lived so we were lucky there um, and again, that has little flower buds coming on it. And if I be, whoops, sorry, jiggled you. I'll zoom you in there. I can't see. Sun's in the way. Where are we? I can't see where the bud. 
and not too close. I'm terrible at this vlogging in the garden. Uh, too close, can't get a focus on there. Oh. I will get it. I'm determined to get a picture of one of these buds. No. I think it's because it's moving and I'm moving. I can't find one. So my finger. No. There you go, nearly. Nearly. <laughs> Um, let me zoom you back out. It's a picture of the fence. Um, and then there's just uh, oh, in this pot down here, I need a new pot. This is completely, you know, had it this year. Are pansies? I think they're starting to to grow up a little bit now. I mean, that pot is usually absolutely full, um, but whether and there's some weeds in there too. Whether they have survived enough to fill the pot again, I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me, coughing. This is another um, bush that flowers um, late summer. Um, the t tag on it has long gone. I don't know what it is. Um, but it has white flowers on it. In here, there should be pansies. I think if you look there... There is, but there's a lot of grass and weed and weed. I don't know what this is, but it's a horrible weed. It gets everywhere. Um, and then we're back, basically, to where the slabs are and the and the bird feeders. But this is where we've replaced um, replaced the fence so far. We got down to here, um, but then we sort of you know ran out of money and you know other things have to be paid for. Because fence panels are so expensive, really expensive. I mean, <coughs> we've lived here 15 years now and we've actually brought these fence panels with us from the previous house. Um, and they must be about 20 years old, so they really have done well. But that is... Oh, the sun's come out down the bottom of the garden, so that is um, an overall look on. That's my dog, he had to get in there somewhere, didn't he? Um, Baron, there you go, there he is, he's a white German Shepherd, I'll come to you because it's dark down here, what you doing, huh, oh look at the mess, he's been scratching his ear, Kistel, don't you come off me, you're dirty, look, <laughs> he's been scratching his ear with a dirty paw, no he'll keep following me, that's it, um, go down the garden, play, so that's him. I think he's about, uh, I think he's just turned six. Oh, and he's sat in the mud. Oh, terrible dog. But yeah, that is, that's just an overall of my garden. Um, I will do another one when it's looking a little bit better, and a little bit tidier, because um, it is looking rather a mess at the moment. And that's the back of my house. That is the back of my house. <laughs> down there and go um, down past the bins there round the round the end um, is my back door so I'll finish it there um, I'll we just turn you around again so I'll uh, just finish uh, the video here um, I can't see or you can't see my eyes because my glasses have gone um, dark with the Sun um, I hope you've enjoyed this it's a little bit of a, a jiggly video but I hope it's enjoyable and I'll see you again soon. Bye!